Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. And I'm Francis Wang. Here's a look at some of your Friday morning headlines. Crews are working to make emergency repairs to contain the leak from a broken sewer main pipe that's once again spilling raw sewage into the Rio Vista neighborhood. This is the same pipe that ruptured just over a week ago. Crews had finished repairs, activating a bypass line on Wednesday. But then officials say the fix may have caused the pressure to rise in the pipe, causing this new break. Officials are advising people to avoid the area and the standing water, and no word on when this is expected to be finished. New this morning, we're waiting for word from Davie police into what officially happened overnight at a mobile home park. Our camera captured officers on the scene in the 1200 block of Southwest 116th Way. There was a belt on the ground along with some papers and what appeared to be some blood. We'll bring you more once we hear back from them. A judge has agreed to delay the confessed Parkland school shooter's death penalty trial, which was supposed to start next month. The defense has been pleading for extra time to prepare for months. Cruz has offered to plead guilty if the death penalty is taken off the table, but the prosecution has refused. The judge says she will not let this delay go beyond the summer. Wawa is notifying customers after it confirms a data breach may have exposed thousands of customers' information. The company's CEO confirms that malware was discovered on its payment process servers last week and that it may have collected card numbers, customers' names, and other data for months. Company officials say the breach may have affected all Wawa locations. The company is offering free credit monitoring to those affected. And that's a look at some of your Friday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.